You know, just talking to some agents in the new year right now, some of them are still in a bit of a coma. They're sort of wiping the sleep out of their eyes, still trying to get the sand out of their ears from being at the beach. But here's the thing, guys, you need to get momentum and traction as quickly as possible. And sometimes when you sort of have these holiday blues and you've been away and it's hard to get that momentum and traction that you're looking for, you just need a simple formula. One that works for me is the five by five rule. The five by five rule means this, is to make 25 calls a day daily. But where we get stuck is thinking about, who do I call? Who am I gonna reach out to? Think about who are the five people that you could ring in five different categories, whatever they may look like. But here's a simple formula that I feel can work for you. Firstly, ring five of your hot pipelines. You've come back from holidays, ask them how their Christmas was, how their new year was, wish them all the best for the new year. But then ask them the question, when do you see yourself selling? Do you see yourself selling in the next 30 or 60 or 90 days for those hot pipelines? And if you do, when would you like to be sold by? Some of these key questions will just be cut through and you'll be able to identify exactly where they're sitting in the sales cycle. Because if you don't know where they're sitting on the sales cycle, you're not gonna have very, very good conversion. The second type of category I would look at doing is the anniversary calls. They're nice and easy calls to get back into. I know you don't like the sort of hard stuff, cold stuff, but if you want that warm call and get that fuzzy feeling, reach out to some of the anniversary calls. When you make that phone call, just ring them up and just say, hey Tom, it's Claudio calling from ABC Real Estate. Want to wish you and your family all the best for 2018, but also congratulate you. It's three years since you purchased your home, and I want to book you in for your annual three-year annual market update. When would be a good time for me to pop in? Would Thursday or Friday at three or four o'clock be better for you? Now, by saying it in that way, they just think that every three years that you're doing like an annual market inspection or market assessment. Doing it that way, it seems like, oh, I just got to book in. So it's the language that we use and the dialogue that we use and the words that we use that can help you convert some of these appointments versus would you like to. Take control, Thursday or Friday, three or four, four o'clock, better for you. Use that type of dialogue. I know it worked for me in the past when I was an agent. It really gave me some great success. The third type of call is your database calls. Start ringing five of those people on your database and just reach out, same type of dialogue. Happy New Year, how was your Christmas? Some really small talk. But then again, ask them if they see themselves selling either the first six months of this year or the second half of the year. Again, cut through questions, don't be afraid. Don't come from fear, ask the question. The fourth one is, I'm gonna see a lot of this happening this year. Many of the agents that I'm working with right now, they have a whole heap of new listings coming on, which is great if they've got good vendor management and they're able to have got good buyer management systems because they'll be able to close that gap between vendors and buyers. The less weaker agents in your marketplace, guess what's gonna happen with them? Their days on market are gonna expand and they're gonna turn into expired listings with the current listings that they're holding. That is your opportunity right now in this marketplace to take the opportunity to try and get new business and future business from expired listings. Now, you do need to have a strategy around that. Number one, have a market monitor. Check every listing in your business development area, your farm area or your patch, and track every listing week by week. Don't rely on and be lazy on realestate.com or RP data and those type of sources. Get out there and do it each week. Get the knowledge with the market monitor. As you track each one of them, and if you need one, just email me, pop me a, on Facebook or PM me or send me a text message or email me, and I'll be more than glad to send you a market monitor of what you need to do with those expired listings because everything is designed with a system because the systems is interrelated parts that work together that produce a predictable result. So basically you will market monitor them, then you will send a couple of letters out to them and send a couple of other bits and pieces that I can share with you. But then at the end, then you can go on door knock with some real cool effective dialogue that you may need or make a phone call. But expired listings is a great one. Target five of them each day. Let me tell you, there's gonna be plenty of them coming into 2018. Last one, but not least, is those old fire books. How many times there is so much gold in those previous old OFI books as we call them. So go back through your iPad, go back through your old OFI books if you're writing them down like old school like I do, pen and paper. Ring those people up and ask them, have they found a property this year? Are they still in the market looking to buy? Simply just implement the five by five rule with five ways to find new and future business in 2018, but also to kickstart your year.